today on 11th Gorgeous. We're just really excited. Honestly, maybe not. I want to eat it. Keep doing what you're doing, bra. You need to pop color on your nails, girl. Yeah. Hey guys. It's that time of the year where we talk about fall nail polish trends. I really honestly, maybe not, but I feel like almost my favorite time of the year for nail polish is fall. I, I almost love the colors more in the fall than I do in the spring and summer. So we did our research and we've got a couple of the like trendy fall nail polish colors to show you guys and multiple options. Yes. So I think the most funny thing is we were going through a collection and we were like, oh my gosh, like we were going to show you these two better linen colors for like a, a raspberry and like a dark cherry color. And we we're like, oh my gosh, these are like identical. Like, no, it's hilarious. It's shocking. This is the Butter London color that we were going to show you. This is one of them. It's blowing raspberries. So this is going to be like a raspberry color. Right. So that's perfect. But then we found this CoverGirl one in Lingering Spice. And I don't know if it's identical on there, but it is pretty much identical in person. If you're going for this color option, you can go for the CoverGirl and get essentially the same effect. Exactly the same. Butter effect. London, sometimes we can get them buy one, get one free. Mm -hmm. So they're like $7, sometimes they're $10 at Ulta, but it's still kind of expensive. We've only ever gotten them on sale. Affordable option and a high end option. Okay. So affordable. The next one is more of like a dark cherry kind of purpley wine color. Wine, that's a good one. Yeah. I wonder if they just saw the bug that flew by. I don't know, but it's like. It's like dee -dee 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 dive bomb, <laughs> and it's in here with us. Okay, I think that the Butter London might be a little Did bit. It fly through? Yeah, might be a little bit lighter. But we've got this one in Queen Vic, and then this CoverGirl one in Crushed Berries. And I am just so excited, like she said, for fall nail polish colors. They Berry colors, wine colors, blood red, greens. I love it. Yeah. All of it. We're just really excited. Talking about like blood reds and stuff, last year was huge for oxblood. Yes. And I'm so happy that it's still big. It's, it's a gorgeous color. I didn't, I haven't seen it like stated oxblood anywhere. I just see blood red. I've seen but it in it's clothes essentially so a lot. the same. Yeah. So these are a couple of polishes that we wore last year that are going to be good for this year also. And that is Essie Carry On, which is like amazing. This is one of our favorites. There's another good one called Essie Wicked. Yeah. I think it won like an InStyle award or something. So Essie Wicked's a good one. Yeah. And then Julep. We actually have a lot of Julep polishes in this. And that's only because of subscriptions. You get three a month for like 20 bucks. Yeah, so it and works out to like $6. Yeah, so this is one from that, it's called Coco, and it's like a, it has a blood red color, but it's got a little chocolate to it too. It's got a yeah. little brown tone. It's kind so. of mixed in like chocolatey reddish brown. Yeah. Oh, I forgot this one too. This is Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Flirt. And it's this like a purpley red. Yeah, it's like a purpley kind of shimmery, but it's also gonna be good for that like red whiny ox blood color. Chocolate is huge. Yes. Chocolatate. Uh -huh. I have a polish called Mink Muffs, which is really good, but I think this one is similar. It's Essie Glamour Purse, and I think Tracy got this at TJ Maxx. So I did. You can get these at TJ Maxx too, and I think it was only like $4.99. $3.99. $3.99. Like that, yeah. So that's a good place to get these polishes also. Okay, this one was really big a while ago, and it's You Don't Know Jacques from OPI. So this one was a really, I feel like it was super popular. Like 09? A couple years ago, yeah. And it's just a good, I feel like it has a touch of gray to it also. Yeah. yeah. And then, as this name is what it says it is, Rimmel's Milk Chocolate, which is kind of a lighter option. It's actually like... Almost like a nude. Almost, yeah, it's transitioning into nude, which is big for the fall too, yeah. but we don't have any up here to show you guys, but that's nude it's, easy to find. Yeah, it's super easy. There are a lot of good options out there. I actually found out about the Milk Chocolate from x or so total throwback Oh my gosh! I know. I love it. And like, we've gotten to meet her in person a few times now and hang out. We actually get to love see her, her this weekend. And yes, she's super sweet. Love her. Okay, what orange. do we talk to next? Orange. 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 And I know this is a thinking. fun trend that I never thought would come. Yeah, like orange in the fall. Like, okay, obviously orange in the fall because like think about the leaves on the tree. And Halloween. And Halloween. But I think like I'm afraid of orange a little bit. I am not afraid of orange. I also saw some of the trends like with the orange. I saw some bright ones. So mm -hmm. like there are some bright orange trends, but then there's also the burnt orange trend, which right. is more of like the leaves. The leaves. The leaves, the foliage, you know? Okay, so this is a good like baby steps towards a burnt orange and it is by Julep and it's in the color Nan. Nan. N-A-N. And I feel like it's it's a very reddish orange but it's got a softness to it that's not like, 
like, oh my gosh, I'm wearing orange on my nails. Okay, and we have an Essence one, and this is in the color Gorgeous Bling Bling. And it's an orange, like a burnt orange, but it has gold flakes in it, and it's really pretty. I think this will be great for October. This one is a Butter London option, and it is Sunbaker. I love the name of it. And it's a little more of a vibrant, like, super, like, shimmery. Kind of metallic -y Yeah, metallic -y. Almost. That's yeah. what I'm going with there. And this would be fun for Halloween. I mm -hmm. love it. It's so pretty. Love it. Green. Green. We all love green. And this is popular for the fall. This is, like, I think a deep... deep forest green yeah. or almost emerald mm -hmm. yeah i think that i think both emerald and green like deep forest green but this one is butter london british racing green so it's self-explanatory it's a really pretty green it's kind of got i want to say this one's got like a it's tealish a green well yeah it does have a shimmer to it yeah but it's got like it's it's really it's a blue toned green and it's really pretty and i love it and i think it will be really gorgeous on your nails for fall Okay, I have another julep, Avi. This was from the Trina Turk Fall 2012. I've been signed up to julep for a, a long time. And it's in the color Hawk, H-O-C-H. I'm not sure how you I say it. it. I just want to say hooch. <laughs> but this is a little bit brighter of a green, but for 2013, I believe, the color of the year has been the um, emerald. That's like the mm -hmm. Pantone color of the year or whatever. So I'm sure you will have no problem finding like emeraldy, dark green nail right. polish. We literally didn't buy anything. We just like grabbed our collection. And yeah. Typically when we do these videos, we don't buy anything. We were going to, but we were like, let's just dig in our collection and see what we can find. Dark teals or even some bright teals. Yeah. Both are actually like for fall, which is exciting because if you guys know us, you know, like blue green teal colors in the summertime are like our freaking Faves. favorite. So you can still wear those into the fall, but you can also start wearing some darker versions of it. I will also say there are no hard and fast rules about when you can wear what colors for nail polish. Let's be real. Sometimes I'm really depressed. In the fall time, I'm like, I need a neon in my nail. You know, you've got your, like, the the, the sad thing happens. You know, seasonal affective disorder. Mm -hmm. So there's not as much sunshine. The days are shorter. You need to pop color on your nails, girl. Yeah. You don't have to do that. These are just colors that are popular that have been seen on the runways. Right. But it, it's it's a trendy thing, and let's be real, we don't always have to follow the trends. You don't. Because then who would we be? We would not be original. Right. So these are some fun dark and not so dark colors. Now this one is Ulta Professional in Jet Lag, and it's kind of a dusty teal blue color. Yeah. This one is Essie Where's My Chauffeur, similar to like Turks and Caicoy. <laughs> Turks and Caicos in, in the Cabana, Cabana, those kinds of colors from Essie, which Essie is pretty popular for. And then this is a little darker version. It's Simple Colors in Savage. More simple colors. This is going to be your navy blues, your darker, I mean, typical blue that would be popular in the wintertime. And this one is a dusty one. It's Simple Colors in Rainstorm. And it's, Amazing formula. Yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot of simple colors that are like some of the best formulas. I don't know what it is but you are awesome and we love you. Keep doing what you're doing, bra. This one is slightly brighter from Wet n Wild. It's in their new military collection and it's the left, 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 right, left, which is weird. So slightly brighter and then this- I don't think it's weird at all. I think it's cool. It's just a funny name. <laughs> it's just a long name. Yeah. Okay, and then this is a navy from Julep. Pretty true navy. I think the most navy out of the three we've shown you and it's in the color Michelle. Now, we're not saying like go buy these julep polishes because they're like $14, $14 on their website, but if you've been signed up for julep, have some of these in your collection, that's awesome. And then it's just a general like idea of what colors oh, are yeah. going to be trendy. How can we forget the bright blues? Cobalt blue is always huge year round. And this is our freaking favorite. It's the Sally Henson Pacific Blue. Classic. It's not going anywhere. It's here to stay. I love you. Do you love me? Yes. It loves me. So <laughs> there it is. And if you've got Butler, please, then you are also taken care of in this color situation. If no, you were to choose, I would say go for Sally Hansen. It's better formula and it's more affordable. Right. So. But if you have one or the other, you're good to go. Yeah. Now we're going to round it out with the grays. I love grays. I think you can go like so many different avenues so with gray. You can go like gray purple. You can go gray brown. Purple. You can, yeah, you can grow like a, grown. like a, I mean, it's just, it's, it's there's so possibilities many. are endless. Yeah, you can do like a purple gray. Gurple? 
I mean, like, like lavender gray. Just show them. Lavender? Lavender. Yeah. Lavender. What? <laughs> so, I'm just going to start off with the one I'm wearing. Excuse my nails. I've been doing some manual labor. <laughs> this is Essie Cashmere Bathrobe. And it's a really pretty gray with some, some fine silver little sparkly flex in there that honestly you can't really see when they're on your nails but it's still really gorgeous I kind of right? see them yeah I mean it's not like they don't disappear no, no and they're I not bet gone. in the sun you could see it even more yeah I love this color and I'm excited the formula is amazing it's one of those like one coders like Ooh. it's really pretty all right I got this color club in a birch box it's status update and that I made it. me buy that OPI color 999 nine, 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 okay, okay fine which is another one if I you, love it yeah if you have the 999 okay fine good yeah just a dark gray where it's like almost black but you can still tell it's gray so chic that's love my it. favorite of the grays but then you have your grays that are like this this is concrete and it's a purpley gray it's a gurple and <laughs> it's just like I don't know it's just gray but it's light it has a purpley tint and this is like an original this is an EG original right here we oh, yeah. love this junk Throw back in the day. yeah and you can't have too. your concrete without your wet cement. It's wet cement before it's concrete. And I don't know if they are the same or not, but it is a true light kind of gray. So it's a good one, and we love these formulas. Now, duo chromies, all right? Essie has a new collection called For the Twill of It. That's what's on That's my nails. That's where the cashmere bathrobe came from. Right? So this is like your purpley gold blue, green, mesmerizing color. There's a similar color in the Katy Perry collection, so if you have that, it's similar. It's a little more sheer. This right. is gonna be more of like a one to two coater. That's like a three to four coater, but yeah. I mean, you don't necessarily have to get it if you already have those. This is an amazing formula. This is a throwback from like 2011. It's Chanel Peridot, and you don't have to have this to have like this idea of like color. There's other options, but it's just a really pretty like bluey, greeny, gold like duochrome I don't know I think it's gorgeous I think it's a classic and now because it's been so long since it came out there are so many other options yes Tracy has a couple okay so these were actually sent to us from some of you guys totally generous and amazing and I think this is a brand that is from another country it's Ozotic and it's in the color number 507 and then this was a Sephora one and I can't remember what it's called. It's something bikini or something. No, diving right. in Malaysia. Yeah, Malaysia, yeah. Yeah, diving in Malaysia. I knew it was something like swimming or something. Yeah. And then there's like an OPI one now or a China Glaze. China Glaze and OPI, I think. There's so many different options. So those are not even. But if you have Chanel Peridot from when that was like really trendy. It's bringing it back. Pull it back out, use it. Any dupes you guys have, go for it. Yes. And finally, metallics. Metallics. They're never. They're never a bad thing. In. We've got a silver, a gold, and a rose gold. Yes. So. Okay, so this one kind of walks the line, honestly, because it's called Going Platinum, but it does have tiny little flecks of gold in it, and I freaking love this. It's a Wet n Wild Fergie collection, Going Platinum. I want to eat it, but I won't. But it kind of makes me think of when Erin took a took swig. A I was going to say, don't be Erin. <laughs> out of the nail polish room. How do you do bottle. that? She thought it was her water bottle. How do you do that? Okay, this is another throwback classic. It is Orly Rage, and it is your rose gold polish. It's Gorgeous. a good formula. Love the color. It's our freaking favorite. You can't go wrong with this polish. A lot of you probably already have it. If you don't, this is like a staple for the yes. collection. So I'm going to tell you to go buy that, even, in, even though it is $7 or $8. And then we've got Zoya in Ziv, Z-I-V, and this is, you know, it looks we grabbed that wet wild gold. So it's kind of like how the platinum was like silver with gold in it. These are gold with silver in it. Right, and it's called Grammy Gold. And so it just is, it has a very like textured look to it, I feel like. And so Zoya Ziv or the wet and wild Grammy Gold. Gorgeous. Yeah, they're very, very similar. similar. Cool. Yay, we've reached the end of our trendy, like what's hot for fall nail polishes. So if we left out any that you know of that are going to be super trendy, please let us know down below so that we will all know what's going to be happening this yes. fall. Lots of options. Hopefully you guys already have some of these in your collection. Yes. We want to know what you're planning on rocking for the fall. For sure. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Yes. Check out those videos over there and don't forget to subscribe. And we will talk to all of you guys in our next video. We sure will. Bye guys. Bye guys.